this video we're going to talk about core and valence electrons, a topic very closely related to electron configurations. So when we talk about core and valence electrons, valence electrons are the ones with the highest energy that are furthest from the nucleus. And the reason we're interested in core and valence electrons is because it's the valence electrons that are going to be involved in chemical bonding. The core electrons are the lowest energy electrons, and these are the ones that are closer to the nucleus. And generally, core electrons are not involved in chemical bonding. And so all electrons are either core or valence. So every electron is either classified as a valence electron, so it is involved in chemical bonding, or a core electron, and it's not involved in chemical bonding. So we want to know for any element how many of its electrons are core and how many are valence. And so for elements that are in the S in the P block, the core and valence electrons are just the electrons um, with the highest principal quantum number in the S and P orbitals. So it's the But determining how many valence electrons there are is actually really easy. If the element is in the S or the P block, all you have to do is count what column it's in. So for example, if I wanted to know how many um, valence electrons magnesium has, uh, right, and I say count which column it's in, count which column it's in, only counting the S and P block columns. So we wouldn't count the transition metals or the inner transition metals uh, we wouldn't count those columns. So magnesium is in the second column, so it would have two valence electrons. Um, calcium, also in the second column, so also two valence electrons. Uh, if I wanted to know about fluorine, so fluorine, when I count what's, what row it's in, just count the, I'm sorry, when I count what column it's in, I only count the, the S and the P columns. So one, two, skip the Ds, three, four, five, six, seven. So fluorine has seven valence electrons. If I asked about bromine, right, bromine is one, two, skip the Ds, three, four, five, six, seven. And so if you notice, elements that are in the same column have the same number of valence electrons. Uh, and again, this is why elements in the same column have similar properties. Uh, it's due in large part to the fact that their outer electron configurations are the same, and they have the same number of valence electrons. And so if I want to know how many core electrons they have, uh, we just subtract the valence electrons from the total. So going back to fluorine, we said it had seven valence electrons. If fluorine has nine total electrons, then nine minus seven, it has two core electrons. Or if I did iodine, right, iodine has 53 total electrons, it's in the same column as fluorine, so it has it also has seven valence electrons. And so 53 minus 7, it would have 46 core electrons. And we'll do more examples uh, at the end of the video. All right, if it's in the D block, the electrons that are considered valence are the highest principal quantum number that's occupied, the Ns and the N minus 1 D electrons. Um, right, so it's the highest S and, right, because the Ds, the row that they're in, it's, it's going to be one less than the principal quantum number. Uh, but for determining the number of valence electrons um, of an element in the D block, uh, it's just what column is it in, including the S's and the Ds, not the F's, if it's past the F's. So uh, we'll have some examples at the end, but just doing one quick one here. If I said how many valence electrons does uh, let's say zirconium have, right, zirconium is in the one, two, three, fourth column, so zirconium would have four valence electrons, and then 40 minus four, all the rest would be core electrons. All right, and then finally for the, the F block, uh, in that case, we count the, the highest S, sometimes the electron configurations get weird, and so maybe uh, 
there are some Ds that are occupied, and then the Fs are always two less than the row they're in. So it's the highest S, D, and F. But again, all we have to do is pretty much count what column it's in. So let's say uh, we want to know how many valence electrons uh, samarium has. Right, so samarium is 62, so it's, it's jumping at this point. Don't count, right, we didn't put an element here. We've actually got 15 um, columns in this particular periodic table here. Rather than drawing lanthanum and actinium uh, in their spots, they sort of dropped them all down. So to count for samarium, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So samarium would have 8 valence electrons. And then 62 minus 8, it would have 54 core electrons. All right, just a couple more examples. So oxygen is here. It would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So oxygen has 6 valence. It has 8 total electrons. And so 8 minus 6, the other two are core. Sulfur, right below oxygen. So I don't even have to count because I just did oxygen. Uh, but I'll do it anyway. It's going to have 6 because it's the same column as oxygen, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so sulfur, 6 valence. It has 16 total. So 16 minus 6, it has 10 core. All right, and then rubidium, right here. So rubidium would only have one valence electron. And then 37 minus 1, it has 36 core electrons. And uh, let's do one more example. So let's say we asked about the number of valence electrons that lead has. Right, so lead... We would say, okay, it's got one, two, skip the D's and F's, three, four. So lead has four valence, 82 minus four, it has 78 core electrons. All right, if we look at some examples of transition metals. So ruthenium is right here. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So ruthenium has 8 valence electrons. And 44 minus 8, it has 36 core electrons. For platinum, here's platinum. It would have 1, 2... Now, in principle, lanthanum should be here. So there is a, a column there, so we would count it. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So platinum has 10 valence. And 78 minus 10, it has 68 core. All right, and we'll do one uh, inner transition metal. So if I do Neptunium, it would have one, two. When we're counting the Fs, right, because we have 15 in the, the columns in this periodic table, right, the actinum, actinium is here, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven valence, and then 93 minus seven, we have 86 core. 